On to race number eight, we head back to the AWT for this one. It is a class three over the 1200 metres. Elite patch on the class drop at the top of the book. One back to back class three all weather races late last year. Utopia Life bolted in last start, up five pounds but drawn better. Just not listening has the weight turnaround on Utopia Life, carries 121, so he's down four. Six Street Scream, seven Big Fortune, eight Happy Family all make their all weather debuts. Nine Stalark, both victories, track and distance they were last season in Class 4. And the 12 Handsome Rebel dropped down to Class 4 last time, comes straight back up after a narrow second of the heavily backed Thou Shall Sing. California Rajant has been a chung far. Yeah, at speed here, a good Utopia life went forward and was able to lead all of the way and win last time out. Just not listening will be handy, no doubt, from gate number four. Big Fortune's going to find it a little bit tough in the opening stages. Jack Wong riding him from gate number 11. Handsome Rebel was up on the speed last time out, just beaten. California Arjon was actually a leader last time out for part of the race. Does a lot wrong, though, California Arjon. Zero Hedge, Star Luck with the speed. I think he'll probably be able to sit in somewhere, uh, Star Luck, and get some cover. Elite Patch is going really well in his work. You can see he's very keen here once again. He has got that downgrade, and he was very impressive when he did win those two races. Uh, he comes out of the last race, which was a wet slow. He shouldn't get those conditions uh, here. Just not listening, and other than he's in good form at the moment, likely to go forward with Joe Marrera board. Can actually lead, I think, uh, just not listening. Him and Utopia Life, they'll work that out uh, pretty early on in the race, but uh, look, he goes nicely. And Star Luck, I like the fact he's coming back to the all weather. He's been running some pretty good races on the turf, but his wins have been on the surface. So he's just drawn a little bit wide, but he's an interesting runner for me. You're pretty big on a leap patch, aren't you, with his short tail? Yeah, I am. I think he's a nice horse. And when he did win those races, I think class threes is go, to be fair. Replay is actually a class two. He runs fifth yeah. in this, so he's dropping in grade from this replay. Yeah, no, it was, an, it was quite a nice uh, run here. Uh, this is three starts ago. Um, Behind Big Time Baby, we know how good Big Time Baby is. He's probably our best dirt horse at the moment, along with Elite Patch. So, look, at uh, he, he finished off the race lo uh, nice enough, and I thought uh, he's a horse in form. This is Class 2. He's now back into Class 3. He's ridden really good form at the beginning of the season, got up in the ratings and uh, weights, but found himself back down into Class 3. So I think he's going to be a big player. Utopia Life and Just Not Listening, Tom, they met last time uh, and Utopia Life was absolutely brilliant in this. He was uh, led all of the way here. The, the favourite uh, sort of missed the kick. That was Flying Genius in the race and uh, wasn't able to challenge. So he was very good. Utopia Life cleared out, held on here from Just Not Listening. Mega Heart, he's sort of one for the thrill seekers because he gets back and will run on at the end. But he was a bit one-paced, I thought, last time out. Yeah, I've got Utopia Life and I've also got Just Not Listening in as well. I just wonder if they'll put a bit more pressure on Utopia Life because they didn't there and now you can see what he did. So yep. I think Joe will be aware of Utopia Life now. And has to carry the extra weight yep. too, does Utopia Life. Star Luck, this is a turf performance, but you, you touched on his dirt track not too long ago. Yeah, his dirt track form's really good. It's better than his turf, there's no question. Uh, he's won twice here in Hong Kong. They've both been on the surface. Now this was a bit, there was a bit of give in this track as we know this particular day, which I think probably suited Starlight, but he hit the line strongly. I think he's really going to appreciate coming back to it, so I didn't want to leave him out. He was really good too. two runs ago behind Good Beauty, three wide, no cover, fought on well. He's been racing really honestly uh, recently, he had that little bit of a setback uh, when he was withdrawn in the race that transcendent one, but um, he's been racing really well, so we're back on the surface that he seems to favour. Zero Hedges' last start was down the straight. Baltic success. Now, the beat margin, Tom's five and three quarters, mm. but the winner absolutely bolts him. Yeah, he annihilated them here. And Zero Hedge was a little bit slow away from the start last time out, but he was still able to make up lengths on the far side over the final stages. Haven't found a spot for him. He was a winner two back at Happy Valley over Farm Bumper that's probably not in that strong a form. Yeah, last time he was on the all-weather, he got beaten by Super Power Man, which I think can run a big race earlier on. But like you, Tom, I thought it was quite a strong race this one. Mm. Paul Handsome Rebel right down the bottom of the book. He class dropped last time and nearly bought the plunge undone. It took the shall Singh some time to get past him. Yeah, it was a really good run, I thought, from him. But that was in Class 4. He's back up to a reasonably strong Class 3 race. The thing in his favour is the weight. Uh, he doesn't have to carry too much weight, but I'd prefer him to drop back down again, to be honest. Yeah, so he's been penalised without winning. His uh, handsome rebel, uh, Thou Shao Sing, wore him down over the, the final stages, but he stuck on gamely. I don't think he had any excuses on that occasion, but I'd prefer him uh, down a grade as well. Elite patch for you? Yeah, back at down a grade, I think elite patch. Uh, we can see a, a, a really good performance from him on, on a sort of a dry all-weather track. 
Starlight coming back to the surface, just not listening in Utopia Life from the front. One, nine, four and two. I think the one can win this. Agree, same four numbers, just slightly in a different order, but uh, keen on the one to uh, bounce back here. Elite patch for uh, Vincent Ho, Francis uh, Lloyd. Drawn gate number seven. Doesn't matter if he has to cover a little bit of ground. I don't think he will have to, but he's a horse that likes to get out into the space and uh, charge on past as uh, Elite patch. Utopian Life was a good winner last time out off the front. Star Luck, he'll be there. And the other one I don't mind off the front is just not listening for Marrera. So one, two, nine and four. Both Paul and Tom all over Elite Patch in race number eight. Time to break here on Racing to Win. After this, we'll come back and have a look at race number nine.